This video is intended for a software developer that has recently acquired an M2M Smart Service Developers Kit from Contron and Intel with installed 90-day trial software from partners Windriver and Eurotech. Let's get started. When you open the box, you will first see a cardboard overlay that contains two printed guides and cables. The out-of-the-box guide describes what is in the box and how to get started. It also contains important safety and other information. The developer should review this guide first before getting started. The Contra notification document includes important technical information about your kit, including known issues and workarounds, and how to contact technical support. Removing the cardboard overlay exposes the kit hardware below. The hardware includes the MDM system itself, which is powered by Intel Atom technology. This development system has multiple I.O. connections to accommodate the needs of many developers. Let's quickly review them. The top of the unit includes the indicator lights for system status, a hard reset button, a 3G SIM slot, and a software-enabled user input button. One side of the unit contains a 2.4 GHz antenna connector for 802.15.4 communication. Other I.O. on this side of the unit include a 3G antenna connector, a headphone live-out jack, a microphone jack, two micro HDMI ports, and one micro USB client port. The other side of the unit contains a 2.4 GHz antenna connector for standard wireless LAN connectivity, an Ethernet port, power connector, USB 2.0 port, micro USB host port, and auxiliary Wi-Fi antenna connector. Also included in the kit is the power supply and two power cords, one for North America and one for continental Europe. Next, take out the live USB flash drive. This is required to activate the kit and contains all of the tutorials and tools for your host computer. In the cable bag, you will find the following. Two micro USB to female USB adapters, these can be used to connect keyboard or mouse to the kit in the event that a USB hub is not available. Next, take out the two 2.4 GHz antennas for wireless LAN connectivity. In the versions of kits that include 3G radios, you will also find two 3G antennas and adapters. We have now walked through the entire contents of the kit. There are a few more items that you, the developer, will need to provide before getting started. The developer will need to provide their own host computer and Ethernet cable to connect to the M2M kit. The use of a multi-port Ethernet switch is highly recommended. Use of the switch enables the developer to toggle the host between static and DHCP IP addresses easily without physically moving the Ethernet cables. You will also need to provide the monitor and the suitable cable adapter combination for connecting to the micro HDMI port on the M2M kit. If your monitor has an HDMI port, then you simply need the single HDMI to micro HDMI cable. If your monitor has a DVI port, then you will also need a DVI to HDMI adapter. Older VGA connectors will not work. You will also need to provide the keyboard and mouse. The USB hub device simplifies the connection of multiple USB devices to the M2M kit. If you do not have access to a USB hub device, then you can plug the mouse and keyboard into the M2M kit using the kit's USB port and one of the micro USB ports. We have now reviewed the additional hardware, including some optional hardware, that the developer needs to get started. 